Hey guys, welcome back. We are taking you on an awesome trip today because we're gonna test out the one of one J201 Lexus Overland prototype. We're really gonna put it to the test. We had the chance to walk around the vehicle with Nate, their global communications manager, and talk about the vehicle, but then we're gonna take it on the trail and see what it can do. Now you guys, this is a fully decked out Overland beast. 550 horsepower, similar torque, and all the options and accessories you might expect to go with that. You guys are hardcore. Did you know that? Uh, the fact of the matter is Overlanders, adventure travelers of all kinds, test equipment to the max. And if you're just getting started, well, hey, that's why Overland Bound exists. But if you're just <laughs> getting started, you know, you outfit a rig, you take it out there and you break it. So from time to time, we get called by manufacturers to test vehicles that are entering the overland space, which is awesome because we get excited about anything that can get you out there into the great outdoors safely and is super capable. So whether it's the Hummer EV from GMC or this J201 prototype from Lexus, what does that mean for the overland community? So we are gonna put it to the test. You guys, you see me go to various locations on this channel. If you wanna know where those locations are, we have an app, it's called Overland Bound One. We are endeavoring to create the best overland off-road navigation and community software on the planet. So go download Overland Bound One on iOS and Android. It just keeps getting better over time. And with all that said, you guys, let's jump in the car, go to a top secret, undisclosed, Location, Palm Springs, and check out the Lexus J201. Let's go. Let's go. We were in Palm Springs, so before joining up with the Lexus crew, we had to go to the Air Museum. It's one of the best in the country. Now, Corey's family has a long history in the Navy, and there's always a bit of emotion, maybe even some some waterworks, you know, not from me, of course, but you guys, you gotta go. Kids are always free here, and it's really important for us to remember this part of our nation's history and honor those who served before us. We arrived at the top secret compound <laughs> the night before the big event. Now, the J201 was behind closed gates, but we were able to get a sneak peek and meet Elijah and Nate from the Lexus team to learn about their passion for the project and get ready to share the walk around and trail test with you. Nate, thank you for the invitation. Yeah. I'm super excited today. We are too. Thanks yeah. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Now, I've I've heard rumors. We're going to we're going to talk about the elephant in the room here is that Lexus has built this for a reason. And that reason is and they couldn't come right out and say it, so this is my own opinion. I think we could look forward to some awesome things in the overland space coming from Lexus very soon. But that's purely speculation. Uh -huh. We wanted to uh, build something that spoke to the popularity of, of off-roading and overlanding yep. in particular. We took our time, as you yep. mentioned, uh, it was purpose-built. Mm -hmm. um, and, and a lot of these components are custom. Mm -hmm. um, some are not, but they all serve a purpose, a function. Um, it also, not to get too corporate, but it gets into the omotenashi element of hospitality, anticipatory hospitality. Mm -hmm. Something that we want to you know, anticipate the needs of our guests before they even know and seamlessly do that and do it cleanly uh, up to OEM quality. And, uh, and we believe we did so in, in j one let's, uh, let's, let's start right up front here. Um, and tell us a little bit about the, the, the bumper. I see the, the approach angle looks, looks very good. Tell us a little bit about the, the, the bumper and then we'll talk about what's under the hood, the surprise that's under the hood. Yeah, going, going along with the, the theme of making it clean and yep. uh, you know, very much approachable uh, to the consumer, mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to integrate the, the, the bumper, the steel bumper as much as possible. And uh, this was created by CBI, the, the good team over there, and they custom designed it, made it, as you can see, very much integrated into the stock um, spindle grill. Right. Um, all blacked out grill um, with the winch, the worn winch, as well as with the, a hidden rigid industries uh, light bar. Uh, suspension is very intriguing because 
We wanted to keep it as much OEM as possible. We didn't want to rip everything out and then right. putting a, a new custom suspension. You know, that doesn't speak to, you know, what this build is about. Uh -huh. um, it's, it is about an enhancement of the foundation that LX is. Right. So with all that mindset, we wanted to uh, really just modify the existing suspension, the adaptive variable suspension, so uh -huh. that's intact. Yep. But uh, we've added some uh, upper arms from Icon. Great. Um, we've also added a, a spacer from uh, an Australian market Land Cruiser uh -huh. uh, to give it an extra little lift. So on the standard mode, it's plus two inches. And then going up every mode, uh, so it's one, one inch every mode. Got uh, it. And then ultimately, it ends up in uh, extra high mode uh, in the four low uh, setting. And that's 4.8 inches uh, above. That's a huge amount of lift. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's, that's a good amount. Hey, let's talk about, uh, let's uh, open this thing up real quick and then yeah. you can point out what's, uh, what's out. under the hood, okay. Wait, what? All right, Nate. <laughs> Tell me about this. What do we got here? So this is a, a fairly new Magnuson supercharger, um, TVS 1900. Mm -hmm. um, it boosts the, the stock 5.7 output to 550 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque. That's, 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 okay, so that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Uh, now, you guys, I have a little behind the scenes. I haven't, I haven't put my foot into it yet, but I've heard that the way that it's programmed, it delivers pretty consistent power all the way through the band, which Correct. is nice. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, with any build, there's some added weight involved. So this pretty much compensates for, right. for, for that <laughs> or, weight. Or, or maybe overcompensates. <laughs> or exceeds, yes. <laughs> let's go to, the, let's go to the, the back and we'll show some of the components in the back okay. and how that's kitted out. Okay. And then I know we're, we're, with, uh, we're with Eli and we're with you all day. And we'll talk about some of the, uh, the other specific components yeah, throughout the great. day. Okay, cool. Let's go take a look. Okay. Dual swing out. That's very nice. I'm surprised at the, uh, the weight. Is this is this steel aluminum? Steel. Steel. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it's very efficient in terms of the design. It is a tailgate, which is nice because flat space is just at a premium when you're off grid, mm -hmm. when you're out there. It's a very, I mean, this is a very efficient build, right? You can imagine just what I went through. I'm being, I'm being careful, you guys, because uh, this is one of one. Tell me a little bit about any any uh, uh, thoughts that you guys had when building this out. What yeah. did you want to achieve? So to your point, we wanted the flat space for the cooking or just basic kind of putting stuff. You need that. You need that kind of function. Yeah. They integrated some recovery gear into the uh, into the left drawer uh, and, and kind of again crafted. So it's not just a bunch of stuff thrown into the vehicle. There is a space for each tool. It's a cool integration of you know the, the, the needs, the, the tools that you may need right. out in the in the woods or, or wherever you may go. Beautifully integrated, doesn't rattle, there's there's you know OEM quality to it. Great. Yeah. Hey, I'm curious, when those front seats fold forward, mm -hmm. what's the level difference like? Look at that. You guys thought of this. <laughs> so with a with a pad here, a nice comfortable pad here, that is just about a flat space. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, you know, most of the time we're camping outdoors, but if you wanna um, sleep inside, you could potentially do that and set that up because this is really, really close in terms of the level. That's awesome, that's great. Everything dual purpose. Seat, bed, yeah. seat, <laughs> bed. That's awesome, that's great. All right, real quick. Your roof storage, mm -hmm. that's that's pretty cool. There's no ratchet tie down straps or anything like that. That's fully integrated, right? Yeah, integrated for uh, Max Tracks okay. specifically, yeah. Okay, and then uh, what about the boxes on top? Are they metal cases, plastic? They are aluminum. Okay, yeah. oh, nice. Yeah, aluminum boxes. Okay, so that'll keep the weight down. Yeah. You guys thought about a lot. We'll talk further about some of the other integrated details, but Nate, if you don't mind, I'd like to get this thing on the trail. Don't mind it all. <laughs> all right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. And with that, we hit the road. Now, Corey got a chance to drive and put those 550 horsepower to the test. As you can use that 
same, this one button. This, yep, boom. and then now you're back with this is just MTS, so it's gonna say crawl has been deactivated. Okay. And then now as you spin that, you're gonna go Mul through rock, rock, and dirt. Rock and dirt. Okay. Yeah, so Got now it. you're in four wheel low, just with- uh, Center rock, yeah. center lock. Center lock, yeah. Still, we haven't needed the front and rear lockers yet, so. Now once familiar with the Lexus J201, it was time to put this thing to the test. Trail cruising was one thing, but let's see what 550 foot-pounds of torque will do heading up a mountain. You know, right when you you feel it in the pedal, when you feel it, yeah. mash it, give it that power, you have 550. Got it. Just dead, don't back off the gas. So okay. you're gonna kind of creep, 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 and then as it feels like you need more, just give it. Okay. And then as you feel it, you can kind of try and momentum the truck off to the left, like a little bit driver, you know? Maybe I was, it was steeper than it looked. Maybe, maybe I was nervous. I wasn't think, I had failed to engage the differential lock. <laughs> There's a whole phenomenon, right? Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Stick with me, this is cool. We're trying something new. Street addresses don't work for adventure travelers. If you want to get within 10 feet of a location, how would you do that? So with just three words, our app, Overland Bound One, will get you within 10 feet of any location on the planet. For example, if you wanted to get to the hill climb that I just did, you would go to the Overland Bound One app and in the search bar on the map, you type in helipad, Redeemer Cherub. With a dot in between each word, it'll show you the location within 10 feet. It's a lot easier than GPS coordinates. Try it out. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to Lexus. See you next time. Outfit and explore.